Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. And today we're going to learn about angles. What is angle? Angle is a form by two rays. Rays with a common endpoint. So this, if you look at the left figure here, this uh, red ray or red BA and another ray here with BC. The both, two of those are rays and their common point is B. And the common endpoint is called the vertex. Okay, so this is the vertex, the B here. And this are the ray, and this is another ray here, okay? The rays are called the sides of the angle. How do we name an angle? Using three letters. The middle letter must always represent the vertex. So we say, in naming this angle here, we can say angle A, B, C. The B must be the vertex. Or you can swap it, make it C, B, A. That's fine. Or we could also use it with a single letter, naming it only the angle located at the vertex, which is angle B. So either angle B, angle A, B, C, angle C, B, A could represent this angle here. Okay. Uh, when referring to the measure of an angle, use a lower case. So for example, here, the measurement here is 60 degrees. That's 60 degrees. We write it with the M there, lowercase, and an angle notation, ABC is equal to 60. Okay, very simple. And again, what are the types of angle? We all know this one, that this one here is an acute angle, anything that are less than 90. But make sure you understand that the, the angle say the theta there, is between 0 to 90 degrees, okay? Uh, something more than 90, but cannot be greater than 180. So this should, the theta here, the angle should be greater than uh, 90, but cannot be more than 180. That is called obtuse angle. Uh, the next one here is a uh, box here. That's a representation that is a 90 degree angle there. So the uh, theta has to be equal to 90 degrees. So that's called the right angle. And this straight line here is a straight angle, which is the theta there is equal to 180 degrees. Flat straight line is 180 degrees. All right. <clears throat> so let's try this example here. I have an example here. Uh, the vertex is K, and there's a side, and there's a side, uh, angle J, K, L. Name the vertex of the angle. The vertex is K. That's only a point K, okay? That's the common endpoint there is K. Name the size of the angle. The size are this and that one, which are happen to be the ray. So K, J, array on top, and a K, L, and array on top. Okay, give a three ways to name the angle. Again, the easiest way is just the vertex. So angle K. And in three letters, make sure the middle one is the vertex. So I can do angle J, K, L or angle L, K, J. Classify the angle that looks like to me an obtuse angle. Okay, very simple, right? Now, angle by sector, a ray that divides an angle into two congruent. What's the meaning of congruent? Congruent is equal, equal and figuratively congruent angles. So if you look at this right side here, angle by sector, this is my ray, ray BD, that's my ray. And this red ray cuts the blue angle into two equal parts. The red or the ray BD cuts the angle ABC into two equal parts. So therefore, this green angle and the orange angle has to be congruent or equal values. In the diagram to the right, ray, I'm going to use red one, ray BD 
is an angle based sector. This is the angle based sector, and it's cutting their blue one into equal parts. Therefore, if it the angle based sector, so we know now that that angle A B D, this angle here, is congruent to this angle here, angle C B D, perpendicular lines, two lines that intersect. Okay, so there are two lines that intersect at a right angle. So if you look at this, I have the orange line and the black line that intersect where? At a 90 degree angle, at a right angle. That symbols for perpendicular is like this. That is a notation, like an inverted T, okay, upside down T, capital T. That's a representation is perpendicular. The diagram on the right, so we know that line L is perpendicular to line M. Okay, so again, this is a notation for perpendicular. And if they're perpendicular, they cross at the 90 degree angle, which is equal to 90 degree value there. Okay, now let's put them together. So we have a bisector, we have a perpendicular. Okay, a uh, bisector could be array, could be a, a line sector, a line segment array that is perpendicular to a segment at its midpoint. So if a line or segment ray uh, cross to its midpoint, then it's perpendicular bisector. Because imagine, look at the figure in the right. This measures 90 degree angle. So this orange line cross at the 90 degree angle. So therefore it's perpendicular. And this segment has a midpoint of this green midpoint. So now it's equal. So therefore it's called perpendicular bisector. So again, one more time, perpendicular bisector across 90 degree angle. And this side here will be congruent. In the diagram to the right, um, uh, line LM is the perpendicular bisector to segment PQ. Okay, So if that's true, so therefore we know that this measures 90, and then we know that P in the midpoint, let's say that's A there, PA is going to be congruent to QA, okay? Because it's a bisector, okay? All right, let's try this example here. Write another name for angle CBF. CBF, another name for angle CBF could be angle, uh, this is CBF guys here. So I can name it FBC. I cannot name it just angle B. You cannot just do angle B because angle B could be this, could be that, could be this, could be that. There are multiple angles here that B is associated with. So I cannot just use B alone here. I got to be specific. F, B, C. Okay. All right. Next. Uh, name the side E, B, D. Where's E, B, D? E, B, D. Name the side. So the, the sides are B, E with a ray above and B, D with a ray above. Okay. Very simple, right? Classify angle ABC. 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 ABC is a straight line there that's called a straight angle. Okay. Next, uh, give an example for an obtuse. Obtuse angle there. Since this is a, a 90, so therefore this has to be 90, right? That has to be 90. It does 90, a little bit more angle. So this angle here, angle EBD is an obtuse angle because it's more than 180 degrees. Name two congruent angles. The two congruent angles here, you see this uh, mark here and this arc here? That is an indicator that they are equal. So EBA is congruent to FBC. Okay, so angle EBA is congruent to angle FBC, okay? Because of that marking, that means they are congruent, okay? <clears throat> and name a perpendicular bisector. Uh, I see that this is 90, so this ray here crossed the 90 degree angle, and I see that this are congruent, 
So therefore, it divides segment AC to two equal parts across the midpoint. So therefore, name a perpendicular bisector is going to be B, D, in our, on array. Okay? All right. One more here. Uh, example number four. Name the vertex of angle two. Angle two is right here. This angle two. So therefore, the angle it's pertaining to is this. The vertex there is at point T. Uh, name the side of angle four. Angle four is right here. This angle four. So the angle talking about is here. So the sides are T W with a ray above and T Z with a ray above that. Okay. Write another name for angle three. Angle three is right here. So the angle is this orange one. So I can use three letters Z T U or I can use U T Z. Do you think I can use just the vertex? No, because there are so many multiple representations that associated with angle T here, so I cannot use just one uh, letter of the vertex, okay? Uh, name, write another name for angle one. Angle one is this angle here, so I can use, so we're talking about this angle here. So angle one is angle Y, T, X, and x t y okay if you notice the vertex has to be always in the middle okay classify y t w y t w this purple one that's a box that means it's 90 degree angle so it's a right angle y t w y let's erase it y t u i mean y t u that's obviously to be an obtuse angle. It's more than 90 degrees. Uh, XTU. XTU, that is an acute angle. Next, WTX. WTX. The entire straight angle. So that's a 108 degree or straight, straight angle. Okay. So it's 108 degrees there, straight angle is the classification. Name two perpendicular lines. This YZ and WX are perpendicular lines. So line, no, no, no. Uh, we write YZ with the line above and perpendicular, the notation, WX with the line above them, okay? Uh, name an angle bisector. I see a cur arc here and arc there. That means they are equal. Angle two and angle three are equal. They are being split or cut by this ray here, which is an angle bisector. So it's TU with the ray above them. And there you go. And that's all about the angle. Kaboom.